Hello all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will implement JWT with role-based authentication. In the previous video, we have implemented JWT authentication in ASP.NET Core Web API project. I am going to use the same code base to implement a role-based authentication. If you are not watching a previous video, I recommend you to watch first. You can find in the video in my YouTube channel, JWT authentication in ASP.NET Core Web API. I will be providing this video link in the description. Just go to Visual Studio. In this code base, I already have a logic to generate a token based on a username. Let me modify this based on a role will generate a token. Just go to this uh, generate token method. Let me modify this uh, generate token method to generate a token based on a username and role. Let me accept one more uh, parameter is role name. And this role name I am going to add in the climbs. Just new climb. new climb off and the climb types dot role comma role name now this logic is generated to based on a username and role the token will generate now let's validate this token in the controller here you have to pass the role name also so the role name will accept from the user so let's copy this I'm going to add role name and this role name I am going to pass here login info dot role now let's validate now this is a generate token is done we have to validate I am going to write one more uh, method the same I will copy and uh, under authorize I am going to give a role equal to admin so the method name also I will make it get secure data admin role let's modify the message also to differentiate this is a protected method data from admin role and same I will copy one more now the role I will give as a user and here also let modify this user role user role let's go and execute this now we'll generate a token based on admin role and we'll try to access the uh, get secure data admin role and get secure data based on user role the swagger is open now we'll generate a token I'll use admin and I used here the password is admin123 one two three, at 123 admin at 123 password and the role I will give admin let's execute now the token is generated let me validate this and I am going to use get secure admin role let me take the URL I'll take this URL and I'll go to postman take a new request and this is the get method so I'll use the authorize uh, section you can see bearer token JW all those bearer token I'll take and the token I'm going to use that so I'll take token from here which we generated earlier go to postman I'll give this click on send now you can see the token is validated because I'm using a admin role I'm passing if you see here I given only access for the admin role not for the other roles if you are uh, trying to access this endpoint with the uh, other role token it will not get access let me uh, access this method by using the admin token just go to postman I'll copy this method just go to postman I'll try to hit uh, get secure data user role just click on send you can see 403 forbidden scheme but because the token is generated based on the admin role not the user role now let's uh, generate a uh, row uh, token based on the user role let's 
I'll change only the user uh, the role name user just click on execute the token is generated I'll copy this go to postman I'll change the token here now let's uh, hit you can see the 200 success came now again if you change this user role to admin again you will get a forbidden error because the token is generated based on a user role not for the admin role now suppose you have a requirement called multiple roles I want to access the method so let's how we can uh, copy the same method in the roles I am going to give admin comma user I'll give this will be I'm going to change admin user roles okay so in the from admin or user role let's go and execute this I'll generate a token now let me generate a token and the password is admin at one two three and the role name I am going to give admin let's go and execute I'll take token here go to postman I'll change this token and also I'll change this method which I created here this I'll take you can see now just hit you can see 200 success came this this is a protected method data from admin and user role the token is generated based on an admin role now let's generate a token user role go to this and just change the user the role just try to execute now the token is generated based on a user role copy paste now let's execute you can see the 200 success code because we given as a here we can accept admin or user both will accept the token so if you are trying to access a user token with a admin admin role it will not admin role with a user sorry admin token with a user roles it will not so if you have multiple roles you can define like this in the program.cs you can find uh, aliases here the bearer i given the object you can remove it off and you can have a jwt bearer default dot authentication schema like this also you can uh, have and also when you are developing a role based authentication you can develop a, a policy wise also for that you have to add a policy here in the program.cs just uh, builder dot services dot add authorization add authorization of option and here you can mention uh, your policy like um, options dot add policy you can have like admin admin only or something user only you can define comma the policy you can define policy and policy dot add roles policy dot add or policy dot required roles required roles or required username is depends on your policy how you are going to define so in the roles you can define admin if we have a multiple you can define a multiple also have multiple means like uh, admin user manager like that you can define like this we can add a multiple uh, policies against the roles and the same policy you can use it in controller 
This is how we can use a role based authentication in ASP.NET Core Web API. If you like this video, please uh, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.